A lot of what I saw in Haiti was a, a big energy crisis. First off, they cook every meal with charcoal, and burning charcoal is no good for your body to inhale every day, and a daily chore involving something as poisonous is not a good thing to have. Um, and mainly they use that as because it's their main source of energy. Deforestation in Haiti is a huge problem. It's causing things like this, um, greenhouse gases being burnt off, charcoal being used as a fuel and toxic, and mainly the deforestation causes mudslides and landslides and soil erosion all over the country. Um, and that's not good, but the problem is they don't really have any other way to get energy. In a poor country like Haiti, um, they don't have the means to make factories or coal plants that can produce cleaner energy and scrub the air that they pollute off. And it's a bad situation that they got. They just are deforesting their trees at a lot at, a, at an alarming rate and they don't really have any way to get out of it so energy is so rare there that when we were there they only had electricity for a couple hours every day and we were lucky if we got even that so the product productivity of the country is hindered by this lack of energy. I mean, if you don't have energy, you don't have lights, you don't have internet, you don't have anything. You can't func like function in today's society. It makes you back, puts you back into uh, times before electricity, and that's not a uh, world we live in today, and a, a way you can compete in the world today. So they they're stuck in this third world country status and they don't really have a way to get out of it um so i we i was thinking that a good alternate source of energy is solar power you use solar power in places that you can't easily access other forms of energy clean or in general used energy so they use solar power in places like space and third world country is a perfect op, uh perfect place for something as clean and uh, useful as solar energy and it would solve a lot of problems having a better way to get energy uh, they wouldn't burn so much coal they wouldn't burn their trash off their trash is another problem they have trash on the streets and piled up and they just burn it to get rid of it and that releases all sorts of toxic chemicals into the air and they're breathing and living space and it's, a, it's not a good situation. They don't have the trees to clean up the air for themselves because they're deforesting and they're burning all sorts of bad chemicals. And it's it's going, it's going turning into a, a turning into a polluted place quickly. So clean energy would provide them with um, light and power at all hours. And cleaner energy would reduce the health risks in the country. And, and it would also... Stop, slow, slow down the terrible deforestation problem they have going. So the root of most of the problems is the energy source and all they can do is keep doing what they're doing because they don't have the means to get, you know, they don't manufacture solar panels in Haiti nor do they have enough money to do so. The, their main export is trees, I think, and all they can do is keep cutting down their trees. So they, it's it's hard to get them out of that situation, and it's hard to take such a big steps because solar panel and solar energy is not nearly as efficient as we would hope it was. So you can't power the whole country with solar power alone, but you got to do something, and you got to make baby steps. <laughs> you got to make um, positive ripples. And every and as soon as you get something going, it's gonna start snowballing, and hopefully it'll get us out of this situation that Hadian is in.